Hello everyone, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 2.3 Make picture graphs and our essential question is how can you draw a picture graph to show data in a table? Okay, so today we will draw the picture graph. Okay, so let's unlock the problem. Delia made the table at the right. She used it to record the places the third grade classes would like to go during a field trip. How can you show the data in a picture graph? So we have this table, it has some numbers, and we will do another table which has, instead of numbers, which has pictures or symbols. Okay, so let's make the picture graph. Step number one, write the title at the top of the picture graph write the name of a place in each row okay so here the title is field trip choices so here we write field trip choices okay then we have museum science center Museum is already written, so here we write science center. Here the aquarium, and the last thing is the zoo. Okay, so now we finish the step number one. We wrote the title and we wrote the names. So step number two, look at the numbers in the table. Choose a picture for the key. And tell how many students each picture represents. Write the key at the bottom of the graph. Okay, so look at the numbers here. We have 6, 15, 12, 9. Okay, we can use a picture to represent two students, for example, or three students okay but if you look here this is like counting by three all of these numbers are like counting by three so three six nine twelve fifteen so it is easier to make each picture represents three if you make it represent two okay no problem but for example at the nine you will have to draw sometimes half of a, of the picture okay so here i'll say that each i'll make it a smile okay so each smile represents three students okay so here we finish step number two we'll go to step number three draw the correct number of pictures for each field trip choice okay so the museum is six so let's draw some smiles here so one smile means three another one here we have six so three plus three is six okay the sign center is 15 so let's count so these are three now six six plus three now we are nine now nine plus three twelve and plus three it's the fifteen so we drew five smiles okay here the aquarium is 12 so we'll draw three six nine twelve okay the zoo is nine so we'll draw three six nine okay look at the question here how did you decide how many pictures to draw for the science center so for the science center i drew one two three four five pictures why because the science center if i look at the table it said it's 15 students so each smile means 
three students so I count by three so I counted three six nine twelve fifteen and I stopped at the fifteen so I draw five pictures okay now the next page let's go for share and show Jeremy pulled marbles from a bag one at a time recorded their color and then put them back make a picture graph of the data use this key each circle equals two marbles okay so step number one again let's write the title Jeremy's marble experiment And now we write the colors blue, green, and red. Okay, and our key is each circle equals two marbles. Okay, so now let's draw the pictures so here the blue is four so let's count by twos because each circle means two marbles so here is two four so we stop we need only four at the blue here the green is eleven so I'll count by two so two four six eight ten if i draw one more it will be 12 so i need only one more which is half of the two so i'll draw only half okay here the red is eight so let's count two four six eight okay Let's go down. Here is a question. Use your picture graph above for one and two. So number one, how many more times did Jeremy bowl out a red marble than a blue marble? So how many red more than the blue marble? So look here. We have in the red two, two circles more than the blue. And each circle is two marbles. So he bowled the red four more times more than the blue. Okay, so number two, how many fewer times did Jeremy bowl out green marbles than blue and red marbles combined? So we need the red marbles and the blue marbles combined first and then we'll compare them to the green. Okay, he said how many fewer we are subtracting, but here we can know the green but the blue and red we have to combine them together so let's see if we combine the blue and red they will be how many so let's let's do them here blue and red so the blue and red together they are six circles one two three four five six the green they are already one two three four five circles and a half so the blue and red are six circles and the green are five circles and a half so the green is fewer than the blue and red by half of a circle so half of a circle means one marble okay so this is the way to get it from the picture graph and you could get it without the picture graph using the table up so you could add 
the blue and red for plus 8 it's a 12 then subtract the 11 so the answer will be also 1 okay and here also number 1 you could get it from the table and you can subtract the red and blue so the red and blue okay so you could subtract 8 minus 4 equals 4 also okay hope you guys understand this lesson have a nice day and goodbye